This is one of my favorite toys. This is an etymological dictionary. I bought it when I was just out of university for $100, saved my money for it. Um, an etymological dictionary is a specialized dictionary. It um, gives you the history of the word. So the each every word in the English language has a kind of progeny, a legacy. And um, some words have more interesting legacies than others. As an exercise, what I'd like you to do is find an etymological dictionary. There is one online that you can use. It's not fantastic, and the pleasure of going into a book is that you'll move laterally and you'll find more things than you might have normally found, uh, and you might end up digging deeper and deeper into a word. So I advise you to find a text-based etymological dictionary, but feel free to use the one online too. I'll just give you a quick example of a word that has um, an interesting meaning that you know most people don't know about. Where is it? Muscle. The fleshly parts of the body by which an animal moves. And then it goes back to French, muscle, Latin, musculum, uh, from musculus, a little mouse, to a muscle from its creeping appearance. So here we find that the word muscle has a connection to the word mouse. Who would have thought? Why don't you go and look up a word and see what you can do with it? Take um, an etymological dictionary, find a useful etymology of a word that you find interesting, and build it into a sentence so that you can evoke the underlying history of the word.